Hello everybody! I am so glad to be here with you for this Mixed Media Mania YouTube Hop. If you are new to my channel, I'm Sean Petit and I'm just excited to be part of this an amazing group of artists um, that you will get a chance to see and get to know and hopefully check out. Um, there's a ton of prizes that are available with this YouTube Hop. Um, lots of sponsors, you can see them all there, just all kinds of goodies. There will be winners at every stop and then, then a few extra winners because um, some of the artists will actually be giving away some of their own products. So subscribe and comment at each stop to win. So this is what we're going to be making today, this cutie patootie little house and I'm so, so excited to share this project with you. Here are some of the supplies that you'll be needing, lots of vintage papers and different things like that. Everything will be listed below in the description box as well as I will go over everything. I'm working on an MDF board that is 7 by 12 and I've got some of my vintage papers out here and I'm just kind of getting the shape, getting a feel for what, what, I've, what I'm going to be doing. Um, my board is right now covered with gesso to help prime the surface and I'm going to do a quick wash. I'm using DecoArt Fluid Acrylics, Cobalt Blue Hue, um, Titanium White and Cerulean Blue Hue. And just do a quick wash, make it kind of faded, just really light. Now I'm going to start putting down the background, my vintage, my lovely vintage papers with my DecoArt Map Medium and uh, get those down. And I'm using my catalyst, <clears throat> my catalyst tool to um, get the bubbles out. So now I want to start adding some color and character to our little house here and again I'm using DecoArt Fluid Acrylics. I will be using them throughout the video um, but I'm doing a really rough paint and um, I've got my, my fluid acrylics are watered down and I'm just I want a real scratchy faded um, kind of grungy look that's what I'm going for. I will use my catalyst tool to help me do that. I'll scratch back um, some of that paint um, as I'm going along here. I will also use some alcohol as a, as a spray on top of that to kind of scratch everything back as well. I will be using the same technique, the scratching back and the alcohol on the body of the house as well, um, just to again give it that kind of scratchy, um, worn, bar almost barn-like feel.
So I'm putting the rusty hinge and the ceramic vintage um, knob down with a tad of hot glue and a little bit of E6000. The E6000 will hold it in place, will hold it forever. The hot glue will hold it in place right now until the E6000 dries. So now I'm just beginning to add all of my um, paper elements, my vintage rulers, my old windows, all the fun bits. That little scallop down there is cut from a vintage ruler. Um, adding all of the character to our house. I printed out the word love and I've got that, um, that bracket there. I, I didn't put it on just yet because I want to grungy it up just a bit. Matte medium will hold everything down, especially that bracket. It's light enough that it'll hold it down just perfectly. Now I'm adding just a tiny bit of interest to draw the eye up the piece um, with my old type, um, old type text stencil. Now let's add some mystery to that window, some depth, some shading, some shadow. Now we're going to grunge it up a little bit more with my trusty charcoal pencil. I don't know that I could create without it. It always adds such depth and character. I use a extra soft General's charcoal pencil. I'm using an ink tense um, pencil here to get around the rusty hinge because I can't get close enough to create a shadow with my charcoal pencil. And the ink tense is perfect, it's permanent, um, it works wonderful. Now I'm using a white china marker um, to add some doodles, to add some highlights some scallops, just some finishing touches.
I'm adding just some tiny little hearts up above the window in um, quinacridone or quinacridone magenta fluid acrylic. I'll also finish up my flowers adding some stems and leaves with my charcoal pencil. And there you have it my friend, just finishing this up with a little bit of black charcoal um, around the edge. I hope you'll check out all of the artists on the hop, um, just some amazing, amazing talent. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, make sure that you subscribe and comment. Up next is Tiffany Solorio. So click on the link to go to her channel to see what she has in store for you. And again, remember there's so many great prizes involved with this YouTube Hop Great Sponsors. Please check out the description box below to see all of the details, to see all of the prizes and um, supplies that I used in today's video. Have a wonderful day.